Ado State has been under lockdown since government imposed an order to curtail the spread of coronavirus. For two Fridays now, Muslim residents have not been able to congregate for prayers due to the shutdown directive. Timerson News Canal correspondent Ibrahim Isa reports on how the curfew has affected religious activities and may affect the Ramadan fasting. It's the first day of Ramadan, the holy month of Muslim fasting. During this period, Muslims engage in numerous activities to be even closer to their creator. Huseva Isa is a Muslim resident of Kano State, Northwest Nigeria. The coronavirus pandemic has affected his being closer to his creator this year, and the lockdown order has made things even more difficult for him. As you can see, you come to this Sahaba Mosque, all the places is deserted. No one, no one is here due to the lockdown. Uh, as the authorities advise people to stay at home and pray at home with their families. So today is Friday, but I know most of people surely forgot that today is Friday. Whoever has since resorted to reading the Holy Quran, a move he believes would help mitigate the coronavirus pandemic. Many other youth like him are touched by the advent of the pandemic. Nothing I can do than to come and recite the glorious Quran and pray for the country and the whole entire world in general. We are praying that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will protect the ummah in general and in the whole world and this is what we are hopeful for. Friday prayer is one of the most greatest prayer that we do as Muslims. So we usually do this prayer to, let's say, for if, if we have chance to do the prayer, we pray that may Allah bring an end to this pandemic and now that we would not do this prayer so there may be some issues that we be staying at home doing these prayers maybe if the prayer is did congregationally we may be able to call for Allah to forgive us all and that would bring an end to this pandemic mosques markets schools and many other places have been shot and will remain deserted in the coming weeks bringing a hold to both social and religious activities in Kano State. The lockdown decision was made because Kano is fastly becoming the epicenter of the coronavirus pandemic in the north. Now that the Ramadan season has started, residents are hopeful that measures being put in place to curb spread of the virus will remain in place. Behind me is the Kano City Central Mosque. On a normal day, this place is consumed with religious activities, but due to the lockdown, the place has been deserted. Ibrahim Isa, TVC News, Kano. Ibrahim joins me now live from Kano. No new cases have been confirmed in the past uh, two announcements made by the NCDC in Kano, but the state still records the highest number in all of the north. Do you think majority of residents understand why it's important for them to stay at home at this time? Yes, indeed. Residents of Kano now understand the reason or the importance of them staying at home to stay safe. That has been the issue on the ground in Kano State. The government has been trying to sensitize the people to understand the importance of them staying at home. And uh, due to the rising cases and uh, due to uh, the engagements by the government through religious leaders and traditional leaders, the residents of Kano State now see it as pivotal for them to stay at home. Even though the Ramadan season is here and today has been the first day residents have observed the first Ramadan uh, in, 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 in total lockdown and it has been a serious situation because most of them couldn't come out to engage in one or two activities, especially the religious activities. Today being Friday, mm -hmm. uh, pr congregation prayers on Friday were not held in Canada due to the coronavirus pandemic and the uh, lockdown imposed by the government to ensure people of Kano State stay safe and stay at home. Ibrahim, I spoke with the state governor earlier in the week. He debunked the reports that 150 people had died in three days. According to him, only 13 uh, recorded deaths were announced in Kano. What more have you learned about this troubling report of an increase in mortality figure? Yes, it has been a worrisome situation and uh, due to the viral videos that went online where residents posted that uh, lots of people have died. I actually went around the state, especially to cemeteries, 
to ask uh, eyewitnesses on what they have seen. Even though the government had given its figures, uh, it says it is investigating the causes of the death and it has not yet uh, given pro provided its stand on that, but it says it is investigating it and it will uh, try as much as it can to know the cause and uh, mitigate the problem. Ibrahim is alive for us in Kano, even though you can't stay home. Stay safe.